Hey guys, it's Phil with Legal Heat, and today we're going to be talking about how to transport a firearm in your vehicle. So this video today is going to help two types of people. The first type of person is somebody that has a concealed firearm permit from their home state, but is transporting a firearm into a state that does not allow them to carry, meaning they do not recognize their permit. The other type of person this video will apply to is anybody who does not have a concealed firearm permit or that happens to find themselves in a state that doesn't allow them to carry. For example, I have a Utah concealed firearm permit. If I'm traveling from my home in northern Utah to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, I'm going to have to pass through Illinois. When I enter Illinois, I no longer have the right to carry a concealed firearm. So let's talk about what you have to do in order to abide by state and federal laws while transporting that firearm in your vehicle. Title 18, Section 926A provides that any person who can lawfully possess a firearm may transport it in their vehicle even through a state that doesn't allow them to carry, so long as they abide by two rules. First, the transport must be continuous and uninterrupted, meaning you're only doing transport related things like getting gas or a quick bite to eat. If you do anything outside the scope of transporting that firearm, then you lose federal protection and will subject yourself to state law. Secondly, you must store your firearms properly in accordance with the rule. So let's walk through the steps required for you to store your firearms in your vehicle in compliance with the federal law. Prior to entering any state that does not recognize your right to carry, like Illinois in our example, first thing you want to do is exit your vehicle and ensure that all the firearms that you're transporting have been completely unloaded. All your firearms must be completely unloaded and the container housing your firearms must not have any ammunition in it. Once you've verified there's no ammunition in your container or your firearms, you must close your container and lock it, ensuring that it is locked and that the ammunition is stored separately. Now as far as the container itself, it must be hard sided and locked. The ammunition can be stored in a separate container, it does not need to be locked. All right, now that we've talked about how to encase your firearms properly, let's talk about how to transport them in your particular vehicle. To help demonstrate, we've got three different types of vehicles here today. We're gonna to go over how to store them in all three so that you can see how to store them in your vehicle. Now in a truck, ideally, the best place to store the firearms is inside a toolbox in the bed of the truck. So ideally, the locked case will be placed inside a locked toolbox. Once your firearms are stored in the toolbox, your ammunition is then placed in a separate container in a separate location in the vehicle, preferably with the Legal Heat 50 State Guide to Firearm Laws and Regulations. So with an SUV, remember once again our goal is to store the firearms as far away as physically possible from you sitting in the driver's seat. So what that means in an SUV is you'll put these firearms in the back of the SUV where you store the groceries. The ammunition once again, not stored with the firearms is stored in a separate location in the vehicle other than where you're at in the driver's seat. With a traditional car that has a trunk, obviously the best place to store those firearms. So you want to take the firearms securely in case, place them in the trunk. Always remember neither the firearm nor the ammunition is stored in the glove container or the center console. Neither the firearm nor the ammunition can be stored in the glove box or the center console. So in summary, the firearms must be unloaded. They must be locked in a hard-sided container. The ammunition must be stored in a separate container from the firearms. And neither the firearms nor the ammunition can be accessible to you in the driver's seat of your vehicle. If you have any questions, stop by our website at mylegalheat.com or give us a call. Thanks.